So who's winning the mobile operating system war? It depends. If you're looking at the installed base, it's clearly Android with 81% global market share. However, for profits, it's an entirely different story. Apple garners 92% of the industry's profits. Samsung weighs in at 14%. I recognize that makes no sense, but the 6% of losses you have to add back in from Motorola, LG, and HTC gives you the full picture. In sum, Samsung has a nice business. Apple dominates and everybody else loses money. More than half of iPhone users claim they will upgrade every two years or as soon as a new model is released. Luxury positioning is clearly the way to go here. Apple's fallen under a lot of criticism for not pricing lower and expanding share, but clearly they know more than any of us. This is the product that defines our age, the mobile phone, and one company is reaping all the spoils, and that company is Apple. So the C-suite in the luxury sector has largely been dominated by people with outdoor plumbing. However, one company is reversing that trend. French luxury group Kering has recently doubled the number of female chief executives among its brand portfolio. That still means that only six of Kering's 22 brands are led by women. However, that's a lot better than the national average. Only 5% of Fortune 500 company CEOs are female. That's up from less than 1% in 2000. It's worth noting that four luxury companies have at least 40% female directors on their boards. On a related note, IBM is trying to encourage women to get into technology by asking them to hack a hair dryer. The well-intentioned social media campaign backfired with women working in technology showing their disapproval for hashtag hack a hair dryer by tweeting what they actually do in their day-to-day -day working lives. A continued winner, Instagram. One of the biggest trends in 2015 is Instagram's dominance of interactions. In our recent digital IQ index for watches and jewelry, we registered interactions across Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and found that Instagram was responsible for 80% of the total interactions by brands registered in our index. Instagram has steadily been taking share from Facebook and Twitter, just a blip on the radar, barely even registers. So if one's reputation is their greatest asset, what is the biggest driver of reputation in a digital age? You could argue it's your website, or specifically what happens when you go to yourname.com. What happens when you go to jebbush.com? This is not an exaggeration. That about sums up Mr. Bush's campaign. We'll see you next week.